You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I am checking out the Gingerbread Cookie Dough Bites. Now, I uh, was looking at the box in great detail. In the bottom left corner, you'll see a tiny little nugget. I don't think that's the actual size. Does it say? It says, piece size may vary. Okay. And then something else there. It's so far away. Something box upside down. Blank in press uh, box. I have no idea. I'll have to move the box closer to me. I'm trying to zoom in and look through the lens, and it's not always the best way. All right, so it is creamy milk chocolate. On the outside, I believe, of a gingerbread cookie dough. Now, I'm not normally seeing chocolate on a gingerbread cookie. Nah, maybe you. I don't know. I've seen other, you know, decorations on them, but uh, not really chocolate. Now, you could decorate a gingerbread house with chocolate. And right on the top it says, egg-free recipe. What does that mean? That means there is no egg in there. So you're eating cookie dough without egg. That's what that means. I had to think about that just a second. I was thinking maybe they gave you a recipe. And there's one side, and there's the other side, and then the bottom, bottom says, ooh, we got something here. It says, candyasap.com, cookiedoughbites.com, their Facebook, their Twitter, and everything you need to know about them. The other side is very limited. Let's see if I can get a close-up now of this here. It says, I'll read it the correct way, about 60 pieces per box. And there is the back. Introducing Dolish Edible Cookie Dough. Our Dolish is delish. Never really tried that. Cookie Dough Bites, Cookie Dough Bites, Cookie Dough Bites, or Dough Bites. Ready to eat. I am ready to eat. Now, like, like I said, so they're going to look like raisins, I'm guessing. Chocolate-covered raisins in a way, but they'll have cookie dough inside. We will have to cut one open to be certain. Yes, we will. I will definitely want to see. Okay, I've destroyed the box. Let me grab one of my little tools. And you may say, who cares? Just destroy the box. Well, everything I do, I try not to destroy things. One, if I have to come back and take a thumbnail picture, you know, for YouTube... And the box is destroyed. There is a press here. I'm trying not to do that, but here we go. Box is destroyed. Yeah, so it's kind of a uh, kind of similar to a chocolate covered raisin. And they're they're interesting. They look like little barrels in a way. Little barrel nuggets. Let me get my bowl. So there's about sixty. About sixty. Hmm. You know what I like to find out, don't you? Are they telling the truth? I don't know. Let's see if we can do this without taking too much of your time. All right, well, I'm just gonna pour them. I wanna pour to hear that, that, that sound. All right, so we know we have two. And I'll put them back in the bag as we count. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, they smell good. 10. Well, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And there's one that's missing part of its skin. It's chocolatey skin. And now you can kind of see the size differences. That's four. Yeah, that one's a little smaller than the other ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So now it's probably based on weight. So that's they probably weigh them. That's why some may have less because they've got some bigger pieces than other ones. So that could be why. They say that on the box. Now I do see a little of the, ooh, a stray one in the back. Got away from me. This would be easy enough, since I haven't had a single morsel to eat for me, to probably just take the whole thing and put it in my mouth. But let me, let me grab my knife and cutting board. All right, let's get that in there. Now let's put one of these down. And then let's take a little slice of goodness. So it's a little chilly in here, so it's not 
what you would say a mushy cookie dough. Let me, I just want to pinch one. Okay, so, ooh, I could pinch it, and it just breaks apart. So think of like a cookie dough that's been in the refrigerator. I bet you could heat these up, and they would melt really nice. Let's cut one more. Hopefully it doesn't shoot across. I'll try to cut a gentle cut. All right, so I'm going to do this again now. I'm going to... I'm going to take two. I'm going to try two and give them a taste. Mm-hmm. 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 It's very sweet. There's an aftertaste that I can't pick out. Is it gingerbread -y? Yes, it is, but... I think the chocolate overworked it. Covers it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting very sweet. And I'm not saying to myself, oh, I'm eating, eating a gingerbread candy. Nope. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I would say if I just tasted these and someone handed me and said, don't look at the packaging. What does this taste like? I'm not going to say gingerbread. Now, I do get a little bit of that gingerbread flavor. Now, will these get softer if you put them in the microwave for just 10 seconds? Will they become mushy dough? I'm curious. Let me get a little, let me get a little bowl, put these in. I'm not going to bring the microwave in, but I'll just give them Let's say 10 seconds and see what they look like. Okay, 10 seconds did nothing. 20 seconds they got soft. I had to go to 30 seconds. Let's just see. Ooh, yeah. But the dough on the inside actually is holding. There's, there, it's mushy and it's staying dry. It's not converting to what you would think of as a cookie dough. So maybe it's still cold on the inside. I bet you longer would break this up. And you have the smell of the chocolate. You know that smell I'm talking about? Let me wipe off that. Hmm, let me just, ooh, there's some on my finger from the knife. Let me just see if I can see if warmed up's any better. Hmm, I think I like it better a little warm, like warm cookie dough. Of course, that's not what they recommend. I've gone totally off base, but look at that one compared to that one. You see a substantial size difference, don't you? Sizes may vary. Well, thank you very much. So I'm going to say overall, like I said, if I was just handed this to me and someone said, all right, here, taste it. I'm not going to say gingerbread. I think the chocolate over overwhelms you. Now it's not saying they're good and they're sweet. They are good and they are sweet. And you get a nice, you get a nice, um, uh, what's this? It's hard to say. I'm not going to say total gingerbread. You just get a nice cookie dough taste. And I can easily eat the whole, the rest of it. But I will stop there. I always try to find things, of course, unique. And I would say they're unique. But what would I put on the outside? I think I would put white chocolate. Or like a frosting. You know, like a gingerbread house, you frost in the white. Instead of the white, instead of the creamy milk chocolate. Would you agree with me? Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. It should have been white on the outside with the gingerbread cookie dough on the inside. Hmm, I wish I could do a poll. I would take a poll. Do they still do polls on YouTube? I don't know, it's been a long time. But let me know what you think. And thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Lots of Christmas items on the way. And as always, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny,
pick it up. 